Welcome back to Satisfactory. Since the last episode, I haven't really done uh, much uh, research. I've uh, done the medicinal inhaler that is found under alien organisms. Because why not? And that's about it. But I have bought a few things in the awesome shop. I bought the metal door walls. I bought the um, foundations expansion pack that gives me glass foundations, which is an interesting little uh, fun thing. I also bought the um, stairs. Not that I've built anyone, but I bought them. Probably going to use them. I've also done some cleaning up in the base. Um, first and foremost, we have... Uh, I haven't started using these uh, smelters yet, so these are just doing nothing now. And I uh, connected this instead onto the uh, array over there. And we have a, a hypertube here. These things are just so much fun. I've upgraded the uh, copper mine over there to MK2, so it outputs 60, and I've also connected with the uh, fourth smelter down there. Uh, nothing fun is happening up here, though. What I'm, I've also done, as you might see in the distance there, is that I've made a, a longer hypertube, because uh, I was getting tired of having to walk all the way over to the steel outpost, so this one is uh, adorable. Gives you a pretty good view. There is a bug with the uh, Caterium boots. It's hanging under you, but uh, yeah. It's not a problem that it's hanging through the glass, do you think? I like this red and green lights. So this is how I get quickly and efficiently to the um, steel outpost, or steel part of the base. Disconnected the sixth one there, as I had done a miscalculation in terms of uh, how much steel I was outputting. And because I'm outputting 360 steel at the moment, and uh, five of those making steel beams, and two of these making steel pipes are actually using 360 uh, steel ingots so and that's what i'm getting from eight of these i think i removed the overclocking on the first one if not then we should do so yep i did so they are making exactly 360 and that is exactly what i have in terms of ore uh, i have enough coal to set up more but um uh, I don't have enough iron ore at the moment, so that's something that I need to find. These here denominate a new smelting column down here, so I'm gonna make a bend and go down there. And then I'm gonna have more constructors in this zone, so you can see I've rearranged a little bit here, um, moved things here. And then there's this thing over here, and that's what I thought we would be doing in this uh, specific episode. That is connecting all the things up to the um, the main bus, which is the outer uh, um, conveyor pole belt array that is going along the edge of the base. So. I've made a little system of how I want things to look over at the um, over at the uh, other end of this. Uh, let's take the hypertube back. Oomp. Ooh. You can see those are uh, coming in. I think that's on the eleventh level. And, uh, yes, as far as I can tell, the constructor that is having a tree inside of it is working perfectly. But I can't remove it, because I wouldn't be able to place it again, obviously. 
I've also cleaned up this part and that part and I've cleaned up the uh, screws as well since only one MK3 belt is enough for uh, or uh, what I was doing over there with the uh, reinforced uh, iron plates and I've also disconnected the screws from the um, container over there because I've also set up two assemblers and these are actually overclocked at 135% uh, and these are making rotors so that's also new and that also means that this part is no longer full of uh, conveyor poles I think there was like four or five towers of conveyor poles here now there's just two one thing that I wish we could get is a um, signpost. That would have been absolutely amazing if we could set up signs. I hope they're going to add that in the future sometime. Let's put a few things into the shredder. I don't need that. Don't need that. Rest I probably will need. What? What's happened here? No idea why that was missing. As you can also see down there, I've done uh, work on the uh, copper outpost. I've extended it so that there's room for another line of constructors. Probably not necessary, but uh, I wanted to do it anyways. And I also have a hypertube. I've, I've rebuilt the hypertube connection in there, but yeah, the glass foundation is actually quite quite nice. From uh, this is what it looks like. I'm not sure about the other one. The um, uh, foundation frame. I mean it might have some kind of use but I'm not sure what because say what you will but it isn't pretty but I guess it can be used as some kind of pillar or something as a decora decorative thing um, let's go down there before I go through the uh, bus setup but this is what it looks like now and I have these little entrances like, I didn't want to build the river or wall it in, so I've uh, made a inverse uh, ramp thing here so that the uh, waterfall can uh, freely flow and don't look silly. And I have doors going in underneath here at various points. There should be one over there. And we can also walk down to the beach. Uh, through there and you can also get through to the belt so I haven't built this um, as a massive thing nor would I have but I would have made it look like it was massive and the tractor is out here but yeah um, I built the space elevator again that's a fairly important part actually and I'm also intending to have hypertube connection over there of course um, but that will be sometime in the future. I carefully measured out that the uh, space elevator takes seven times seven foundations. And I built this platform being nine by nine. I think. Yeah, because this is the corner. This is, this is actually the corner of the uh, space elevator where I'm standing now. So we have three inputs here on this side and three inputs on the other side. So there is ample room to uh, make the uh, connections. And uh, thankfully we don't need to go to the back side to use the computer because we can just do that anywhere on the space elevator. And uh, my plan is to bus all of the products that I'm making up at the other base down here and uh, I think I mentioned that in the previous episode. Have the um, three and four product machines down here at this larger area. 
where I don't have to struggle with uh, cliffs and stuff on the side of uh, my building area. Let's grab a stack of cable or two while I'm here. Cable is very useful, I've heard. These hypertube entrances require 10 power each, just so you're aware. I've also redone the coal belt out to the um, coal outpost. You can actually uh, zoom in on that in the photo mode. You can see that it's on uh, level 3 and it's an MK3 belt. So I can build 8 more coal generators over there if I need more power. But I don't. At the moment I have plenty of power for what I'm doing. As you can see, running at about half capacity. So this one is for quick wire. This one is for concrete. This one is for iron rods. This one is for iron plates. This one is for reinforced iron plates. This one will be for screws. This one will be for uh, modular frames. Here we're going to have rotors, steel pipes, steel beams and encased industrial beams. This one is already almost full, handily enough. So, let's start bussing items. Now the rotors are going to go on level 9. It's actually 12 high, so that's on level 12. How do I connect those up, I wonder? Let's make a merger. I think it's a problem that it's uh, close. One thing I should do before I hook it up is actually empty out this thing. Um, if I just put items in here like that and I take the rotors and I can deconstruct it when I come back so this is the one for rotors There we go. Let's deconstruct that and sort the inventory. These are producing 5.4 per minute, so yeah, it's gonna take a while. Now. That belt is going there, so I think I need to place this here, I think. Should be fine. Two. Three. No, that's that's not looking good at all. And uh, you can just click control instead of holding it down if you want to deconstruct things. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine which makes it a bit safer to use i still haven't found a way to uh, deconstruct it but um, or to, to to unmark something i mean so if anyone knows a way to unmark uh, please do tell in the comments it would be greatly appreciated Let's see here. There it go there. Like that. Then we need to connect that up to twelve, eleven, ten, nine. I think that should be straight. Well, that isn't straight. 
Am I connecting this to the correct thing? 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Yes, I am connecting it to the right thing. I miscounted. That's what I did. Here we go. So that's a bit of a challenge when you're building uh, a bus like that in the height to actually find the correct entry point. But uh, it should be fine. Should be number. Should be that one. No, not that one. Next one. Which means I have to connect it to the. Um, Yeah, that's the danger of those things. To connect it to that one. In that sense, the fences are actually more useful because they don't uh, allow you to fall down. That should be an NK1. And this one should be an NK1. And then connect up to this and this should be... I've done a mistake. I have done a mistake. It is supposed to be in this one. Let me just pause the recording while I do my uh, calculations here. Okay, so this is where I went wrong, of course. It's supposed to be one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah, you have to be uh, very careful when you do this so that you get the correct ones, of course. And usually it's a good idea to not connect up the belt before you're absolutely sure that you're on the right uh, layer. Now I am sure, but... Uh, do keep that in mind for your own sanity's sake, that uh, maybe you shouldn't connect it up because now I have to clean up. Come on, snap. You were on it. There we go. Connect that to this. Remove. Remove. And that one goes on that one. And that one should then connect to that one. That should be the correct uh, connection. Let's remove that belt and that belt. And I, what I can do with the lift to just empty is, is this. Then we can connect this to this. And I could put the excess rotors in there. That was the rotors connected up. Now we have the modular frames. Am I allowed to build this here? The modular frames should be on eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now how many modular frames are we producing per minute? 
not very many, so we can use an MK1 belt for that as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seriously? Oh, that is not correct. Also, I need to connect the belt first. Otherwise, it's going to be the wrong way. There we go. And this time, I'm not going to connect it up before I'm absolutely sure that I'm doing the correct uh, thing. Because I don't want to have lots of modular frames, or rather baby ball cubes, in my inventory. would of course just shred them but uh, if I can avoid shredding them that's fine connect that to this and to that this one needs to be connected to the um, Conveyor pole. And this one should connect to that. And then we connect up this to the box. And we run back and then connect up the... Um, the box of modular frames. But something that we are going to do before we... Uh, connect of the box is disconnect the belt and that is because I want to remove this thing I don't want a box of modular frames here I want everything gathered over there that of course means that I have extra modular frames in my inventory but that's fine now we have reinforced iron plates I'm going to disconnect this one as well And they are supposed to go on number six. So let's build a conveyor belt like this. We might as well just connect it up to the one that's already there. I think that's too close. No, it actually isn't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, six. And we've held down, which is always fun. I'd replace those railings with uh, fences because uh, falling down is uh, annoying, shall we say? Connect that one up to there I already have iron plates going on five so that's handy needs to connect to that and I wonder if I can just I can sneak it in like that excellent now 
I need to connect up the belt here. And this should be replaced by a regular conveyor lift. I can pick up these uh, iron plates because I don't want iron plates being mixed up in this box. And speaking of iron plates, we need a few more stacks of it. Like so. And we can drop off a couple of stacks of those in here. And then, of course, we have the steel beams and the steel pipes. I don't think we're going to make any bets on how many times I'm going to fall down, because it's probably going to happen multiple times. They are coming out from here. I don't think I'm going to build a fourth machine here. I can do this. The steel pipes are supposed to go on level 10. But these are the steel beams, so they are supposed to go on 11. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wonder if that isn't a oh crap. Should connect that up. This is usually stuff that I would do in between episodes, but I decided that it, this would actually be um, potentially useful for people to see how I go about building these uh, bus lines, if you want to call them that. Where did it go? Can I connect it from here? I think I can, but only barely. I need to, I need to enable precision on my... Um, Mouse. Connect that to there and this one to there. Also, you can use the, uh, the towers for doing this. Which might make it easier, or might not make it easier, I'm not sure. I use the, uh, the towers uh, infrequently. They are very useful, but... Uh, I just haven't um, bothered with using them. And usually I am able to, uh, to do things from... Uh, this level. That is ground level. Connect this one to there, and then we will have the uh, steel beams slowly coming in here. And it will be quite slowly because we are using most of our steel beams in the um, production of. Um, the uh, 
encased industrial beams but currently i think we're almost well no we're not the belt up there needs to fill up first but when that filled is filled up then it's going to be um quite nice but as you can see only a very few of these actually uh come through uh next is steel pipes do note that i'm keeping the uh container for steel beams and steel pipes here and the reason for that is uh in case i want to um Yes, I'm out there and I'm just driving and I can just go pick up here because they are for the MK3 belts. Now, how will I do this, I wonder? They are supposed to go on level 10. I guess I'll just connect them onto there. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we need... I don't know if this is the right location for it. Let's uh, try that. Yes. This is the exact correct location for it. So 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Need to connect up the belt first, otherwise it's going, the lift is going to be the wrong way. There we go. And let's build a belt. Ah, this one is just for testing some calculations that I was doing. This one needs to connect on that one. I really need to enable the precision uh Why doesn't that work? Can't afford. Well, now. Huh. Haven't seen that in a while. But we can just go and grab some uh, iron plates from these. Instead of having to run all the way over to the uh, mall. These will be filled up again pretty quickly. Yeah, that one's not going to be easy to... Ah, there we go. Connect it up to there. 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 And then there. we go 
Let's make sure this is a conveyor lift MK1. And then connect it to this one. Yeah, the steel beams are coming in pretty slowly. The rotors are, of course, coming in slowly because we are producing only about 11 of them. The Borg cubes are coming in uh, at the maximum speed of the belt, which is nice. Not sure what's going... Oh, yeah, there they are. No, I'm not sure what's going on with the... Um Reinforced st uh, iron plates. Let's go have a look. See if I forgot to connect something up. Clearly I must have. Probably forgot to connect up the... Um container. actually works now that's that's something rotors or cubes and here we go I did indeed forget to hook up the container Boom. Just make sure that I connected to the correct belt. And there we are. of uh, nail things here oh yeah I did find sulfur in one of my but I think I mentioned that I'm going to uh, connect up sulfur there is some sulfur nodes um, let's see um, data ways somewhere so I'll connect, connect up uh, a few of them and uh, Eventually, we'll get Nobelisks, which, of course, uh, you know me. I, I'm I'm not uh, averse to blowing up things if I get the chance. What's coming into this? Ah, the steel pipes. Ah, they're coming there. Anyways, I think that that is a good spot to end the episode. So, uh, well, that is an MK2 lift. Doesn't need to be that. That one also doesn't need to be an MK2 lift. The uh, reinforced iron plates is going to take a while before they uh, arrive, so I'm not going to wait around for that. But this is uh, the uh, preliminary outset for the uh, main bus. Uh, of course, this is just a minor main bus because this is uh, the, the actual main bus is going to be going somewhere down there and we'll add up with the copper products and then go to a, a larger mole area over there at the base. I'm not sure where I'm going to build it, but probably along the side here. And then I'll just drag products out of those into the various um, assembling uh, machines and stuff that I need to, um, 
to uh, construct the uh, more advanced products. But for now, thank you all so very much for joining me, and I will see you all next time.